just so excited for my ghost son to come home. What's up everybody? I'm Kelsey and I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I tried the occult baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have a matriarch and you're supposed to have children with every different occult in The Sims 4. There's some rules to this challenge. If you're interested in those, those links will be below. So last time we got our beautiful renovation. We met Grim. It was awkward. This time my eyes are on the prize. All right, so since last time, I remodeled the home because I felt like the format was a little awkward. So I changed it up, moved the dining area over here, made the living area nice and cozy over here with like a nice gallery wall with our TV and then adjusted our beautiful like bonus room. Right now the bonus room is a pool and a little bit of a greenhouse. And then upstairs, since we had this addition, we made a very large and beautiful balcony that will add other kid activities on in the future. And then we we also had to last episode move out our sweet baby angel, which means that Merlin finally is going to get his own room. However, I do feel like Merlin would be better in this kind of a room. So I might actually switch Sebastian over to here and then have Merlin get his own room. And then Harley will be getting her own room essentially, which is the Sig special room. But right now I don't have any human children. They're all occult children at the moment. So this will just be kind of the room until you get old enough to get your own room. So. I'm going to really quick say goodbye to this lovely Christmas themed room. It's so sad. I feel like this room has been Christmas themed for the longest time. At last, we're gonna get to do a little magical room makeover. <laughs> Magic room makeover for Merlin. I'm so excited. We're gonna mostly use the path that he's from, Realm of Magic. There is a Realm of Magic bed. Oh, magical. That works. Okay, we're gonna do this. Let's size them down. A little nice little rug. Oh, that like it's perfectly in the room. I haven't done this big of a rug. Ooh, it's so magical. Part of me wants a darker color for this flooring. So maybe we'll do like a black. Oh yeah. But we definitely need a dresser. So we'll put the dresser here. We'll have a little bedside table. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of money. I'm running out of money. I think it looks pretty magical. I mean, we could add like a bookcase like this kind of. Have them snugly together. There we go. Perfect. I think that that's as much as we need to do on his room. Merlin, you get your own room. It's magic. Why is he sad? Oh, the death. I forgot about the death. Oh my God. Stop it. No, no. <gasps> and our baby is sad too. Well, our son is already here. So you get to bottle feed and change the diaper and bounce. Leaf is doing great. Ooh, Leaf started a fire. Good for you, Leaf. But look how cute it is. Chelsea's still in her chair. Harley, how are you doing? You haven't started your homework yet, girl. Go do your homework, please. And Leaf is going to bed with his brother. Very good. Merlin's in his new room. He looks great in here. This is a perfect room for Merlin. Sebastian's in his room. I think he likes it. And Chelsea's feeling great. Ooh, why don't you help your daughter with your homework? I'm sure she would love that. I'm just really excited for Greg to come back. Ghost son, ghost son, ghost son. Right now we have seven in the household. So we need our ghost son to come back. And then we'll add our ghost son. And then we'll need to kick out two Sims in order to have a baby with Grim, which is a lot. Good job, Quinn. Her homework is complete. She's feeling feeling focused. Oh, she's also very tired. All right, Quinn, why don't you use the bathroom, grab a little marshmallow square and then go off to bed. Chelsea's doing okay. I think Chelsea lives for her children. So she's just like, okay, I gotta keep focusing, keep loving on my children. It's all gonna be okay. Oh, hello, Eve. Let's change your diaper and then we'll go get our food. It's like nighttime. Where is my son? I can't strengthen his spirit anymore. Let's like text Grim since we're feeling spicy. Wait, maybe we can make him friends with us on social bunny. We befriended the Grim Reaper officially. Amazing, we're gonna send a message to Grim. Be like, hey, keep that friendship strong. And since she's like feeling very flirty, maybe we should write like a romance novel. The romance novel is called Kill Me With Love. And that one's for Grim. Great, so she started Kill Me With Love. Look at all these, all of her conquests and all of her toys by her son. I'm loving like the photo area. It's very fun. Oh God, all the kids are up and they're all upset. 
Yes. Oh no, my poor kids, Merlin. Gula's well, stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. He just wants to do his gardening. Can I never go to school again? I'm gonna say school does teach important things, buddy, okay? Leaf needs some food and that he's good. Hayden's using the bathroom and needs some food and he's good. Merlin is pretty much good to go. You have not done your homework and you have not leveled up a skill to level four. All right, what's your skill? Social. Oh, just socialize with your brother. Ask him for advice about being upset about your other brother dying. Talk about the current weather. There we go, boom, level four of social skill. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do. How can I deal with things when I can't even do a workout? That sounds like the right thing for Sebastian. Oh my gosh, Sebastian. I love that he's always taking selfies and he's always shirtless. It's perfect. Chelsea's hard at work on her novel. Hayden's reading his gardening book, doing an amazing job. Send all the students alone. All right, they're all going to high school now and everybody's sad going to school. Bye though, have fun, study hard everyone. It's okay, your brother will be back very soon and you won't have to be sad anymore. I'm trusting the process. He will become my ghost son, I have no doubt. Ooh, Chelsea's almost done with her book. So proud of her. And the computer is broken. I'm going to repair it, but it makes me nervous because I don't want anyone to die. If Chelsea dies, I think I'm gonna lose my mind. And then Quinn would be the one that would have to take up the challenge, which would be very weird. Please don't die, Chelsea, please don't die. Oh my gosh, the pop up. Now that Hayden gets pretty good grades and bullies have been picking on him, should he confront them with a witty comeback or ignore them? I think Hayden would ignore them. It takes a fair amount of self-control, but ignoring the bullies works. Oh good, I'm so glad. And I'm also glad that Chelsea didn't die. Let's have our kids over. You know, I miss having the kids. So y'all can come over. Hey kids, oh. Yeah, all the kids are sad because their last hangout, their brother died. So that was bad. We're giving hugs to everybody. We're gonna check in with our children. Oh God, this is broken. I just bought this. I'm like nervous to repair it. Chelsea, be careful, okay? Oh my gosh, it's my ghost girlfriend, Artemis. Is something else broken now? What is happening? Oh my gosh, everything is breaking. This is stressing me out. I feel like last time my kids came over, everything broke too. But I removed that as a requirement. So I figured that things would stop breaking so much. It broke again? I just spent money on it. Okay, I'm gonna replace it again. It broke again. All right, I'm gonna end this gathering. Replace that. Give myself my money back. Am I being like haunted? What's going on? I'm sorry, kids. I want you guys to be here. Oh, look. All of their plants are thriving. Oh, my boys. My good boys. Oh, and they could do some research. Oh, something broken again. I just heard the noise. Oh my God, it's this. I'm gonna replace that and then I'm gonna give me my money back. We have got club points. My club perks. Maybe like make our size bigger. Oh yeah, cause we need to add our kid. Jack, Jack, you're a part of the club. Oh wow, it looks like Ariel's flirting with my girlfriend ghost robot. It's fine, I'm fine. I'm not jealous, I'm just annoyed. I love that my daughter Lilith is cleaning up my house for me. Let's end the gathering here. Oh, Sebastian's got a friend. That's exciting. They're all so sad. All my kids, and this is the friend I'm guessing? Hello, are you Taylor? Oh, it looks like you're friends with my son. <gasps> is that who I think it is? Is someone haunting my trash can? Is that my good boy? Wake up, Chelsea. Your son is home. I knew it. I knew it. I knew my ghost son would be back. Come back, ghost son. Boom. It was Artemis. I forgot that Artemis was a ghost. <laughs> No! It's fine. I'm fine. Oh, Hayden's in the bathroom crying over his sibling being gone. Not smart enough. Oh no, Merlin doesn't think he's smart enough for his homework. It's been hard for him. Why don't you spend some more time on it, okay? Practice makes perfect. You're gonna crush it. All right, he needs to level up his gardening. So why don't you research some of these plants? Merlin's trying to make himself feel better. Oh, poor Merlin. All the kids are having just such a rough go. Okay, Quinn is doing fine. Hayden is working on researching his plans. Leaf is crying in his bed. Oh, poor guy. Why don't you resume the dozen pink roses, okay? Sebastian, let's have him swim in his pool. Just swim around sadly. It'll make you feel better, maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, Sebastian unlocked the energetic lifestyle. He's crying in his little fishy form, but it's okay, buddy. You got this. Hayden's doing a great 
great job with his research. Lee, he needs to get his skill up to level three. And flower arranging is his highest skill. So why don't you give yourself a little pep talk, make yourself feel a little better, and then get back to that flower arranging. Okay, buddy? Oh, Sebastian's going through a phase. He's feeling distant. We'll prefer to be alone for a while. Aww. My poor baby. Oh my gosh, our baby is upset. Oh, poor Eve. Merlin did his homework. Good job, Merlin. Sebastian's feeling pretty good. Hayden's like almost done with this gardening skill. I'm just gonna let him keep going. Yes, okay, now you can go do other stuff. I'm sorry I kept you so long, but you needed to reach at least gardening level three for school, so it is what it is. Oh wait, did we finish that book? There's so many things going on. No, she did not. Chelsea, why don't you finish your book? Merlin's going through a phase. He's gonna be clingy and he wants to stay extra close to his favorite caregiver. Oh, Merlin, what a sweetheart. Having a rough little phase. Why don't you watch TV, okay? I love that Harley just likes to, or Quinn just likes to sleep on the couch. I should have just named her Harley. I cannot call her anything else, apparently. Oh yay, Chelsea finished her book. Perfect. Let's publish it. We're gonna send Kill Me With Love over literary digest hopefully you will love it she's having a pretty good time she's feeling confident she's actually not sad at all about the passing of her son i think it's because she knows he's gonna come back she and i are under the same delusion we're just waiting very patiently until that day he decides to grace us with his ghostly presence I'm hoping it's today how you doing hayden hayden's needs are going up perfect why don't you go to bed soon merlin you need a shower and then bed come on kids let's go to bed oh his brother finally finished the zucchini. it looks great Great. Oh, poor. Well, it's okay. We can sell it. We'll try again. Quinn's doing great. She needs to go to bed and she needs her hygiene. So let's take a shower and then go to bed. Classic Quinn up till 1 a.m. Ah, there he is. There he is. We got him. It's King Jr. It's King Jr. Oh my gosh, Bob, wake up. Go give him a hug. He's furious. My little werewolf son. Tell him an unbelievable story. Oh, he's very angry. I don't blame him for being angry. Chelsea's kind of scared of him. Quinn is not even, she's just playing. She has no idea what's going on. Oh my gosh, no, my ghost son, my ghost son. Oh my God, my ghost son. Okay, I'm just gonna add him to my family. We did it, it's, oh my God, look at him. He's enraged, what is this one? Alien deception from interacting with it. But we officially have a ghost in the family. Let's try to regain control. Did not work out. Okay, we, yep, we tried. Well, Greg Jr. is now officially a ghost and my child, technically counting as my ghost child. And he is a werewolf. And he's gonna hang out with me forever. It's gonna be great. I'm a little nervous about him being so mad, but it is what it is. He's a little grumpy guy, it's okay. Chelsea went and welcomed him, tried to hang out with him. He said no. Quinn is not bothered. She doesn't even have a moodlet about being afraid of him. She's just like, what's up, bro? How you doing? Okay, Quinn, why don't you go to bed? Oh, your brother's up. How's Merlin? Oh, Merlin's wanting to play. It is Saturday, so we have plenty of time to not age up my children. <laughs> Amazing. How's Greg Jr.? Is he just gonna forever be an angry werewolf? I hope not. Oh, no, don't scratch up the bed. I like how he sparks a lot because he was electrocuted. Poor guy. Oh my goodness. Can we just like run around a little bit? There you go. Why don't you get some zoomies out? Hopefully he'll calm down in time. Otherwise we'll just have an angry ghost. And I don't know how to feel about that. Wait, we can still do ability points as a ghost? Okay, poor guy. That person was scared. They're like, that is a ghost and a werewolf. Yeah, well, get in line because we also have a ghost who is also our girlfriend, who is also a robot. So, <gasps> okay, Greg Jr. is better now. He's like feeling better. Return to normal. Can we return to a human form? Yes, we can. Okay, so Greg Jr. as a werewolf ghost can return to human form and also can fart. Good for you, Greg Jr. ghost. Okay, Greg Jr., let's have you go home. He looks so handsome as a ghost. Ghost. I'm so proud of you. Look at him haunting. What's Chelsea up to? Is she gonna flirt with this guy? <gasps> She's gonna flirt. Oh, and he said no. He rejected her. Okay, Eric. Kiyoshi Ido as an adult. And his head turned to look at Chelsea as he walked by. Oh, in another time, Kiyoshi, in another place. Look at him, he's trying to impress us. Kiyoshi, you were an alien, or even the Grim Reaper, or plant sim, or an island elemental, or a flower bunny. I would be on top of it. Where is Greg? Oh, Greg's taking a nap on the couch. Oh, my Sparky baby boy. Oh, if we could call him Sparky. <laughs> 
Sebastian's having a good time getting his fun up. Chelsea's relaxed. She's just so at ease, so happy in her life. We can invite over the Grim Reaper, have him hang out with us, work on our relationship, send a text. Thought we could like force him to come here, but he's not coming here. So I guess I can't force Grim to come here. What does that mean? Am I gonna have to wait around for someone else to die to see him again? Maybe we should start working on the island elementals. Sebastian, I need you to summon some island elementals. Okay, you're in the middle of swimming. I understand, but I do want you to do this at some point soon. Thank you. How's Merlin? Merlin's fine. Why don't you build a little snow pal with, I feel like Leaf would build a snow pal with you. He's tense because he feels like he wants to go outside. So this is perfect. He'll go outside with you and build a snow pal and they're gonna play together. See, now he's happy because he loves the outdoors. Good boys. And it's New Year's Eve, so they all need to do the countdown and maybe make some New Year's resolutions. Look at Greg, he seems pretty happy. He's gonna go eat some cookies. Go paw a plate, my ghost son. Ooh, this one looks good. Leaf, why don't you harvest and sell everything? Good job. How's Hayden? He's very sad from feeling like his purpose is gone. Oh no. Stay outside for eight hours, level up in gardening skill. Well, let's see if we can buy some winter plants because he does like being outside in the cold. So maybe that might be a good option. Winter plants, perfect. All right, let's open the packet. Fabulous, there's only three. They're little snowdrops. That's fine. All right, go plant your snowdrops, buddy, since you want to be outside. Here we go. We're doing some watering. Perfect. His gardening is almost up to level two. This is gonna take forever unless we just spend so much money on plants, which I think is what I'm gonna have to do. Oh, look at our snow pal. Oh, they gave him a monocle, so fancy. Oh, they're all having little drinks for the holiday and doing cheers. Good job, Greg Jr. Those better be mocktails. Okay, these two are still teens. All right, let's make an arrangement. A winter berry. Ooh, that sounds nice. Oh, God, Greg Jr. is mad again. Well, don't be mean to your siblings, okay? Let's calm down. Leaf is gonna go try his hand at flower arranging again. Hayden's feeling good. He's in a silly, goofy mood because he's drinking some juice. Having a good time with his siblings. Why don't we put on the New Year's tea so we don't miss it? I know it's 10 a.m., but it is common for me to miss things like this. Oh, he wants to discuss fear of death. Oh no, buddy, you are dead though. I'm so sorry. That's so sad. He has a fear of death and he died. Oh no, poor guy. Okay, discuss fears with your mom. She's like, it's okay. You're gonna be with me. We're all together. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything does not seem to be going Leaf's way at all lately. It's been bad news after bad news. People keep saying you never know until you try. Oh no, Leaf is struggling so much. He's worried about his purpose in life. Well, why don't you go discuss that with your twin brother Hayden? I feel like Hayden might have some good insight on that. Ooh, look at these guys. They're already looking pretty good. Why don't you buy more plants? We'll buy like three of them. Amazing. Ooh, lemons are part of it? Okay. I didn't know lemons could be a seasonal fruit. So here we go. We'll do like little lemon trees over here. Are you angry? Well, come plant some stuff, okay? See, now he's happy he's outside. Upstairs boxing. Sebastian's boxing in the cold, wearing no shoes and no shirt and tiny shorts. You do you, buddy. Leaf is feeling like a lot better though. Now that he's having some quality time gardening, he's gonna level up his gardening skill in no time, buddy. You got this. He did not level up his gardening skill and he's still very angry. Why don't you plant some Christmas roses? Both of my boys are angry. Why is Hayden angry too? He's like, why are we in the middle of winter? I wanna be planting stuff. Why do we have this big pool for Sebastian and nothing for us? Well, we are the ones that need to work on our skills. Sebastian already knows to swim. He is a mermaid. There he goes. He leveled up his skill. Now he can talk about his fears. All right, go talk to your brother about it. Because it turns out that your brother's having the same fears. And, oh God, we ran out of food. Chelsea, I think you need to make something. Cook a grand meal. Let's cook a turkey dinner. Or you can talk to your ghost brother about it, fears. Oh, Greg Jr. is giving him some good advice, making him feel better. And now he wants to water a plant. Of course you do, buddy. Why don't you go water all of these plants out here? There he goes. Watering his plants. Look at that. He's leveled up. It's free lamp botanist. That's great. All right. Amazing. And then our poor Hayden is stressed as well. He's gonna go grab some cookies. Why don't you make a resolution to write another book? She's like, I've been slower about writing books, but now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna write a book this year. Greg's in a silly, goofy mood. Oh, but his brother's wanting to go out. You know what? Yeah, let's go to the festival. We're gonna bring some friends along. We're gonna have Leaf and Hayden. They're gonna hang out together because they're just feeling rough. 
we want to be outside. So here we are. We're here with our brother, Felix. Complain about everything. Poor baby Hayden. Leaf is at least kind of in a better mood, although now he's afraid he won't become recognized for his work. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a romance festival? Why did Felix bring his brother to a romance festival? Oh my gosh. Kiyoshi Ito just flirted with someone. I'm so jealous. They're hanging out together. They're having a good time. We drive a hard bargain. Ooh, yay. We got to haggle. We're going to buy a romance yeah, festival t-shirt. That's a cute t-shirt, buddy. Ooh, and he wants to talk to his dad. He wants to chat with Patchy. Well, I kind of put Patchy in a place where he can't hang out with you guys. So, oh, they're tired. It's seven o'clock. Why are you so tired? He is feeling confident though. So that's good. They're both dealing with their acne. Poor boys. Oh, yeah, his brother just farted. All right, where's their brother? There he is. Go bring up an embarrassing childhood moment to your brother. Come on, boys. Go enjoy the festival. Maybe go drink the tea or whatever. Celebrate the festival, okay? Grab some tea. Enjoy yourself. Who's this? The romance guru. Let's talk to the romance guru. Quest romance guru's wisdom. Ooh, that tea looks amazing. Look at that. It's got like a little flower in the bottom. I want that. I also want to talk to a romance guru. Maybe they'd have some hot tips for me. Goodness knows I could use them. He's like, is there romance in my future? Some say love will tear us apart. Some say love will keep us together. You must decide for yourself what you believe. What is that supposed to mean? He gave me nothing. All right, let's order some food. Let's get some nigiri. Delicious. Oh, ask about your romantic destiny. That's what happened. We didn't ask about our romantic destiny. We just asked for wisdom. I guess wisdom means non-committal BS. All right, do I have a romantic destiny? Oh, that looks like bad news. Oh no, Hayden. Your romantic destiny is bleak. Poor Hayden. Oh no. All right, let's go ask about Leaf's romantic destiny. Your romantic destiny is bleak, he told Leaf. Wow, okay, well, Leaf also has a bleak romantic destiny. Both of them do. That is bad. That's a bummer. Sorry, boys. They had fun, you know? Did going to this event means that everybody at the house missed the countdown? Yes. Yes, it did. Am I gonna be mad about that? Yeah, probably. Look at these two little guys. Oh, they're having a nice little game at midnight. And of course, Sebastian's swimming. He's like, I'm swimming, I love it. Ooh, we can fertilize. Perfect. Go fertilize some of these plants here. Oh yeah, people's New Year's Eve was awful. I tried family, okay? I had you guys watch New Year's Eve TV, but I guess it was a boring New Year's. I can't help her, I'm sorry. All right, everybody's going to bed. Oh, and the baby is up, Eve. Oh, actually Greg Jr. was gonna go take care of the baby. That's cute. Greg Jr., can you take care of the baby? He can. Oh, we got a full-time babysitter, baby. We got a full-time babysitter, go! <laughs> Having a go. Sun is the best ever. Does my ghost son need a bed? Because he does have sleep and hygiene. So maybe I need to make him a bedroom. Maybe he needs to sleep in here with his sister. Oh, he's sleeping too. The whole family is sleeping. And our child is awake. So Chelsea is awake. Go take care of Eve. And then Chelsea's raring to go. She's feeling confident. She's wearing those sunglasses. She's looking great. Let's write a motivational book. The book is going to be called Raising My Ghost Son. Motivating people to resurrect their children and never let them go. Why don't you take care of these plants? Go research the plants like your brother did, okay? All right, how's Merlin doing? He's great. You're really close to the next level of school, so I'm gonna have you do extra credit work just to make sure that you become a teen next time I see you. Hayden, he's not doing great. Make an arrangement. My son, you need to level up, okay? Leaf is in such a good mood. He's loving researching these plants. He's working on his gardening today. Hayden's working on his flower arranging. They're swapping sides. Merlin's doing his homework. Quinn, have you done your homework? No, she has not. And this is broken. Well, I do not care. So we're gonna use the toilet and then we're gonna take a shower. Hayden is required. He didn't do it yet? I thought they'd both done it at this point, but it looked like it's just his brother that did the flower arranging. Well, great. We got some 400 simoleons for more royalties. Chelsea. Ooh, good job. She's like, yeah, I'm another best-selling author. Just like once again. Why don't we have our kids all come over here? Hey, come on over, kids. We'll all celebrate Sunday together. How you doing, Leaf? Leaf is great. He is thriving out here, researching all these plants. Chelsea finished her New Year's resolution. Oh, is that Greg? Greg is haunting the table. That's exciting. Good job, Greg. All right, we're gonna sell the Raising My Ghost Sun book. All my kids are at my house. I love this. It's so busy and fun. My ghost son's here playing 
playing beautiful music. How's Hayden doing? Hayden's pretty good. He's showing photos to his brother. Why don't you repair this for me? Okay, why don't you repair these? Ghostly repair. Oh, wow. What does that mean? I have never seen a ghostly repair any before. Oh, he's like going in it to repair it. This is thrilling. They're kind of freaked out. They're like, oh my gosh, this is a lot. He repaired it. Whoa. Now I have a ghost to repair everything. This is amazing. Why is this always broken? I don't know why these keep breaking. Let me know if you guys know why my appliances keep breaking. Oh, Felix is still mourning him. Felix, I'm right here. Cheer up, buddy. Ooh, Chelsea reached cooking gourmet level three. Amazing. Good job, Chelsea. I forgot that I needed to work on that for the island spirits to make them human again. It's getting harder and harder to like have new babies. But look at all my kids. So good. Oh my God, and this broke too. Can you go repair that, please? Do a ghostly repair. Hayden's going upstairs. Maybe gonna take a nap. Oh, Greg Jr. and Aaron. Want to be best friends? Of course. I love that. Make a new arrangement. Ooh, we can make a wedding bouquet. That's exciting. Oh no, Eve is upset. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? Oh, poor Leaf. I will always love you. Oh my gosh, there's just so many kids to keep track of right now. How are we doing? He needs fun and energy. Yeah, he's gonna go to bed. Oh my God, this broke again. I literally just fixed it. I just need someone to move out of my house. Anyone. You two boys need to get your lives in order, okay? Your skills are not good. Oh, that's good. Okay, put that in your inventory. I think I need to focus on one at the time because it's hard trying to focus on both at once. So why don't you make an arrangement for the little bluebells and daisies moment? He's very angry. Why is he so angry? I'm losing control. Try to calm yourself down in the mirror, buddy. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. Poor Quinn. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask the other kids if you can join in. Greg Jr. giving all the best advice right now. Oh my God, you just level up. And by level up, I mean age up. Eve is older. Repeat, Eve is older. Older. Look how sweet she looks. Eve is a charmer. Of course she is. All right, so I did download some custom content specifically for my robot sim. So I'm very excited about that, but I don't think she can really use it as a baby. However, we can use the robot eyes. So I'm gonna go with this. My robot baby girl. And I might make her shiny a little bit because like it looks kind of like she's metal. Perfect. She kind of looks like a little robot doll. Okay, so hair. I like the Ray's hair from Star Wars because it's giving like space. And I like it. Just feel like white is a very like, I'm a robot and I wear white kind of clothes. I think we're gonna do something like this for Eve. All right, so this is Eve, our robot child. She's a little shiny because she's a robot and we love that. And when she gets older, she's gonna have a robot arm. But right now she can't have a robot arm because she's baby. So this is perfect. I really like Eve actually. I love her eyes. I think they like really nailed it and made her look kind of that special robot girl. All right, so someone needs to pick up Eve and bring her downstairs. And I guess that someone is Leave. Eve learns to communicate. Love that for you, Eve. Okay, why don't you pick up the toddler? and then walk her downstairs, okay? There we go. Oh, he's gonna put her to bed. Okay, good night, Eve. Hey, Greg Jr., our ghost son is boxing. He's working on his fitness. I don't know how much your body can change as a ghost, but you know, maybe he's just doing it for his mental health. God, broke again. Greg, can you fix this, please? How is my boys doing? Both of them have not really worked on their skills properly. He's level two on flower arranging, level three on gardening. He's level three on gardening and level two on flower engineer. Actually, they're equal. I just need you guys to age up. You it. Thank you, my son. Thank you for repairing. Look at him. He's reading all the birth certificates. Oh, and he just is reading Leaf's birth certificate. That's very cute. Speaking of which, they're still up here. Leaf and Hayden. All right, why don't you go to sleep, my boy? You're tired. Flower arranging level two. Okay, still level two. Eve is up. She's sad about something. What's going on, Eve? She's too scared to sleep right now. Oh, okay. Eve. In that case, why don't you work on some skills with your sister? Quinn's here. Quinn, go teach the shapes to Eve. Be a good sibling. It looks like Merlin's staying up late watching TV. Merlin, maybe you should go to bed. Sebastian's working on a project on his own? Sebastian, you are hands down going to be an A student tomorrow. I just feel it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna commune with Sulani Elementals and mom's gonna wake up and she's gonna flirt with them. That's what's happening right now. <gasps> okay, there's two. All right, let's go with you, sir. Hello. Hi, Ach. Let's do an enchanting introduction. Oh, we're scared of the ghost, but we're feeling flirty. Is it because he's handsome? Hello, island spirit. Welcome to my home. Are you single? 
Are you interested? He is single. Okay. Island elementals can be single too. Just flirt with him. Oh wow, there's like this island elemental. How old is she? She's an adult. She's a little old for Greg Jr. But I'm like, hey Greg Jr., you could maybe get a girlfriend, okay? Or a boyfriend if you like H. Although your mom's already kind of going, so that would be a little awkward. Okay, first kiss with an island elemental, baby. Oh, my son is watching. He's right here. This is awkward. But we did it. We kissed an island elemental. Oh my gosh, Tallulah is flirting with our son. Okay, well, polite introduction. She's flirting with him. Oh my gosh, maybe he will get a romantic love interest. Brightener day. Okay, like mother and son flirting moment. I love this. This is hands. Okay, why don't you show off your muscles to her, you know? Be like, I've been working on my ghost hex. This is like a romance novel that Chelsea could write, you know? Woohoo, we can woohoo. Stop it. Okay, I think that if we woohoo, we could possibly get pregnant. Okay, we are woohooing the island elemental. That was so fast. Oh my gosh. But this is perfect because then once I have free space in my house, I can have a baby with him. Okay, here we go. I'm woohooing an island elemental, aka a ghost, essentially. Are island elementals ever human? Or are they never human and always spirits? Are we his first time? <laughs> I don't want to think about that. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Woohoo with the ghost. We did it. Oh, and he's sleeping in our bed. Excited. Well, I'm going to end this video with a bang. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Next time, I will try to make sure to get a sim out of the house so that we can woohoo with the sim and have its baby. Then we'll only have four kids left to have. Maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll spice it up. Maybe we'll seduce Kylo Ren. You know, he's not in a cult, but like, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be great. That's my game plan. We got four kids left after this one. And so we'll be wrapping up the challenge probably by the end of this year is my guess. Let me know if you guys are enjoying it. If you have any other ideas for kids, leave all of your baby names for Island Elementals in the comments below. Until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye. You know, Grim is being a tough cookie, but that Island Elemental was raring to go. <laughs>